I couldn't help feeling excited every time I came to Wembley. The whole aura of the stadium seemed to me to lend itself to drama. And my word, there was plenty of that. Wonderful memories. Uh, my first one of Wembley is the 1964 Cup Final when my father brought me to West Ham versus Preston. I went on, of course, to come to Wembley as a commentator many times. The first FA Cup Final I actually covered in that respect was 1977, Manchester United versus Liverpool. And my last one was in 2008, which I think I'm right in saying was Portsmouth against Cardiff. I'm proud to be back for more than one reason, but I think the main one is the longevity of the FA Cup. The fact that it's been around for 150 years, the fact that all over the world it's admired as the best knockout competition and always has been, as we can see on Cup Final Day when so many different countries are tuning in. And I think the other thing about it is it, it did come at the end of a season. It was always the climax to many months of football. And people used to get up at nine o'clock in the morning and turn the television on, see the team hotels and make a day of it. And it was cup final day, not just a cup final match. And that's what I remember about it most. I started on the Monday morning doing background checks on the players and the officials, of course. There was more to the cup final than just a football match. There was always the pageantry beforehand. I had to know who was in the royal box, who were the chairman and their wives. Amazing amount of uh, background to my commentary, which started at about half past two and it went through to three o'clock and I'd already been on the air for half an hour before the game started. And into that half hour went all sorts of investigative journalism, which made the FA Cup final the hardest game I ever had to do in the course of the season. And my goodness me, when it was over, what a relief, hoping that I hadn't dropped a clangor or misidentified somebody or made a mistake because it was a prestigious occasion for the FA, never mind the football match. I couldn't help feeling excited every time I came to Wembley. The whole aura of the stadium seemed to me to lend itself to drama. And my word, there was plenty of that. Who can forget Steven Gerrard's goal that forced extra time against West Ham? Gerrard! He's got it! Oh, Steven Gerrard! Just when he looked into and out of it, and equalised for Liverpool. Amazing comebacks, like when Arsenal played Manchester United in 79. Probably the best football match I ever saw on Cup Final Day, Spurs against Coventry in 1987. Years just trip off the tongue, really, with what happened in each game. Good turn. Oh, yes. Manchester United spoiled Liverpool's chances of the treble by winning 2-1. And of course, there was the deflected goal that won it. Jimmy Green deflecting Lou Macari's shot in for the winning goal. Jimmy Green on. And is it got in by Macari, is it? And United are back in front. The memory I take from it is that I'd done a lot of homework because it was my first cup final. And I'd read somewhere in a magazine that there were 39 steps from the bottom of the pitch to the pathway where the, the, the winning captain went up to receive the trophy from Her Majesty the Royalty, I suddenly realized that a man called Buchan was the Manchester United captain, and a man called Buchan, but this was John Buchan, had written the famous novel, The 39 Steps. When he walked up to get the cup, I said, well, how appropriate that a man called Buchan should be the first up the 39 steps to collect the cup. Now, my commentary was far from memorable that day, but I think that line helped to save me to an extent. I think the Wembley one that comes back to me most readily is the Ricky Villa game in, I call it the Ricky Villa game, it became that, didn't it? When Spurs in the replay beat Manchester City 3-2 and the Argentine went through everybody for the winning goal. And I remember thinking that day, I'll never commentate on a better cup final goal than Ricky Villa's. Villa. And still Ricky Villa. What a fantastic run. He scored. Amazing goal by Ricky Villa. 
And in between so many great moments, so many great players, so many fantastic cup finals. And I'm so proud to be associated with the way the FA are celebrating the anniversary this weekend.